Diarrhea. Diarrhea. This word refers to the end product of the intestine's job, which are watery and loose feces. This is a relatively common occurrence, although it poses little danger to human life. The majority of people get diarrhea once or twice a year. Diarrhea usually lasts two or three days, and it may usually be managed with over-the-counter drugs. Some patients get diarrhea as a result of irritable bowel syndrome or a variety of other chronic intestinal illnesses. Diarrhea in many forms. Doctors classify diarrhea into three categories. 1. Diarrhea osmotica. It indicates that a factor pulls fluids from the body to the intestines, a classic example is diarrhea induced by sugar substitutes such as sorbitol, which is not absorbed by the body and causes the body to produce fluids in the intestines. Diarrhea 2. Diarrhea with secretion It happens when the body secretes fluid into the intestines when it is not required. This form of diarrhea can be caused by a variety of infections drugs, and illnesses. 3. Bloody or exudative diarrhea. When there is blood and pus in the feces, this happens. Inflammatory bowel illnesses such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, as well as different intestinal infections, can cause this form of diarrhea. Symptoms of diarrhea. Diarrhea symptoms can be categorized into two categories, mild diarrhea and acute diarrhea. Severe diarrhea might be a sign and symptom of another, more serious illness. Acute diarrhea can cause the following symptoms. Irritable bowel syndrome or abdominal distension. Constipation. Watery feces. A strong desire to exercise the intestines. Vomiting and feeling nauseous. Aside from the symptoms listed above, acute diarrhea can also cause the following side effects and impacts. The presence of blood, saliva, or incompletely digested food in the stool. Loss of weight. Fever. Diarrhea causes and risk factors. A virus that affects the intestine is the most prevalent cause of diarrhea. This virus, often known as the gut flu, stomach flu, or gastroenteritis, usually clears up on its own within two or three days. Diarrhea can be brought on by a bacterial infection, which is the most common cause of food poisoning. Other organism-caused infections. Consuming irritants to the digestive system. Food allergies to specific foods. Some medication. Radiation therapy. Digestive illnesses include Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Intestinal failure, which occurs when the body's ability to absorb particular meals is impaired. Thyroid gland output is increased, hyperthyroidism. Some forms of cancer. Abuse of some diarrhea-inducing drugs. Surgical procedures on the gastrointestinal tract. Diabetic complications diabetes. Constipation can also induce diarrhea, especially in persons with irritable bowel syndrome, which is one of the reasons of diarrhea to be aware of. Diarrhea complications. Consistent diarrhea causes the body to lose a significant amount of fluid and nutrients. If a person has loose, watery stools more than three times a day and does not drink enough fluids, he may get dehydrated, which can lead to life-threatening issues it is processed correctly. The attending physician should be informed if the diarrhea persists and is accompanied by any of the following signs and symptoms. Urine with a dark color. Urinating and releasing little volumes of pee. A faster heart rate. Headache. Skin that is dry. Restless and restless feelings. Perplexity. Children's diarrhea. Dehydration-related diarrhea in children can be accompanied by one or more of the following signs and symptoms. Dehydration of the mouth or tongue. Two eyes or cheeks that are sunken. 
a decrease or interruption in the amount of tears. A reduction in the number of wet diapers. Indifference or restlessness. After pinching, the skin remains wrinkled rather than returning to its smooth state. Diagnosis of diarrhea. The following are examples of diagnoses. A blood sample diarrhea can be diagnosed using a full blood count. Stool examination. A stool test may be recommended by your doctor to determine whether the diarrhea is caused by bacteria or parasites. Colonoscopy or flexible sigmoidoscopy. Treatment for diarrhea. Diarrhea treatment or relief. When someone gets mild to moderate diarrhea, they can either wait for it to go away on its own or take over-the-counter drugs to treat it. Medication therapy. It contains treatments that are available in liquid or pill form, and it is critical to read the instructions that come with the drug packaging, as the medicines may contain the following. Pepto-Bismol is a digestive aid. Imodium A through D. Kaopectate, Kaopectate. Treatment for diarrhea. The following are some treatment options for diarrhea. You must consume at least 6 cups of liquids every day, each containing 250 milliliters. You can consume fruit juice without the pulp, caffeine-free soft drinks, fat-free chicken soup, honey tea, and energy beverages. Instead of consuming drinks with meals, make it a habit to drink them in between. Drink little amounts of fluids frequently throughout the day. Preventing Diarrhea The following are important preventative actions for diarrhea. Clean drinking water is available. Use soap to wash your hands. Breastfeeding for the first six months of a baby's life is recommended. Maintaining proper personal and food hygiene. Information on health. 